Hello, in this video I am going to show you how to install Multiman, which is which stands for Multi Manager, onto your hack PS3. It could be jailbroken using some sort of custom firmware or it could be a hybrid firmware using something like PS3 Hen. Either way is fine. I've got videos covering how to do each one of them, so feel free to check them out. And as of now, it works on all firmware versions. Uh, PS3 Hen works on all models and custom firmware works on a lot of models and all firmware versions but I'll cover that in those videos as well and I'll you know provide links for all of that stuff so the, to do this is pretty simple first of all if you go to there'll be a link in the description to the discord page for the sonar systems channel I put all the you know links and resources that you need in one easy to you know locate place if you scroll down once you join the channel go to ps3 which is within emulation and games and then on here you go to pin messages and go to ps3 homebrew you also need the fat32 formatting tool which is towards the bottom fat32 formatting tool and we need this to be able to format our usb stick to fat32 if when you go to your computer you can use something like linux or mac as well feel free to and you can format to fat32 on that as well but if you go down Grab your USB stick, which is this one for me. And if I go to format, if FAT32 is an option, fantastic. Just do it via this method. This is the easiest method. And just do quick format. The name doesn't actually matter. And leave everything else as default. But for larger USB sticks, it won't appear. So you need to download this tool. Click the image. That downloads it. And now go to this link where you can get homebrew from. Feel free to check out what else is available, like on the homebrew, for example. But what we want to do is go to Multiman and then just go to this Multiman right here and just click this download link for Multiman Base. And just download whatever the latest version is at the time of you doing it. And all the supported versions are here. So as you can see, it is all supported. I've got 4.87 and it is supported but it says but shows a firmware firmware version of 4.75 that's fine it works and now if we go to where these have downloaded i've got downloaded an extra one i'll get rid of that open up GUI format.exe and now i know it's the end drive make sure you select the right drive because this will delete everything just bear that in mind also i want to say this video is not condoning piracy it is for educational purposes okay so quick format volume label untitled click start make again make sure you got the right drive this is going to fail for me it fails because you have explorer open so close down all instances of explorer redo that again Boom, there you go, it works. So just bear that in mind. If you have Explorer open, it will fail. Also found, sometimes it can be a bit iffy with certain USB ports. Take it out, plug it into another port, see if that works. But make sure all Explorer instances are closed. Now that it's formatted, we need to go to where, uh, where we downloaded this. We can leave the name as this. We can change it, doesn't matter. Copy it. So you, uh, you can just you know right click, copy, Scroll down to your USB stick, paste it here. It shouldn't take long because it's a pretty small file. And now just safely eject your USB stick. There we go. The USB stick has now ejected. I'm going to take it out of the PC. Now let's switch over to the PS3 where I show you how to actually install this package. Again, make sure you have some sort of jailbroken hacked PS3 via custom firmware or a hybrid firmware like PS3 Hen. So I'll see you on the PS3. Okay, we are on the PS3 now. Make sure you've plugged in your USB stick and we can install it. So you go up, go to Package Manager, so this is in the game section, go to Install Package Files. So because we put it on an external USB stick, be one of these two options. If you put it in a specific folder which is designated for packages, it'll be this one. Otherwise, just click this, it'll be in the root as we put it there. Press X, you'll install it. it shouldn't take long because it is a pretty small file, 35 meg. 
and once this is done we'll launch it up and I'll just do a bit of housekeeping and I'll just show you what it's all about press circle it's in the ps3 folder it might depending on how you've grouped it it might be just out in the open but that totally depends on the way you've grouped your content just launch it up If your TV loses signal to the PS3 while launching Multiman, just wait patiently. On first launch, it can take a bit of time, but just wait patiently for it to launch. Subsequent launch, it should be pretty quick. Like so. Okay, so it's installing some Multimanager content data to internal hard drive. You know, that's fine. Supplying a standard theme as well. Here we go. So by default, there is this, you know, little bit of music. And if you don't want that, just go all the way to the left in settings. Scroll down. First of all, let's do a bit of housekeeping. Turn this off because this just turns those sparkly things off in the background. You find multi-man is a bit sluggish sometimes, so disabling certain things can help to speed it up. Scroll down and theme audio that disables that if you want it disabled I quite like it so I have it enabled but you know, I disable it for videos and okay what we also want to do is turn off inactivity timeout turn off screensaver and turn off system auto off the reason is if we're installing a game let's say a very large game especially over FTP we don't want it to time out or the system to turn off and that can be problematic. We don't want to sit in there, pressing a button on the controller every few minutes just to make sure it doesn't turn off or anything. Okay, so you know, you can change, you know, motion sensor sets whether to use sensor information from successive controller. You can change the region for Blu-ray and DVDs. You can change the, the sensitivity of the mouse or the analog sticks. And the, there's a bunch of stuff you can mess around with. Yes, feel free to check it out. You can change you know, the size of stuff, you can say my animation, that will, you know, speed things up even more. And you can, you know, but change button assignment as well. So if you want to go from X to circle, circle to X, I find this is very, you know, useful in Western region where you may have bought a console from an Eastern region, like, you know, like Japan, for example, and that will be circled by default if you want it as X. And that's really it. So all your games, will be you can do ftp as well i'll cover that in a separate video you know system information as well it just shows you system information again i covered in the pc part of this video that for my system version which is 4.87 it will say 4.75 in multi-manager but that doesn't really matter and all your games will be installed over here you will have your retro games like ps1 ps2 and other like snare stuff as well, all the way over here. You can download stuff as well if you're connected to the internet, like themes, you can download other stuff as well. So feel free to check this out. I'll have separate videos covering all these cool features. And what you can also do is go over here. You can install package files directly through this as well. And what you can also do is restart MMCM. You can also, you know, check for updates as well, which is pretty cool within the you know, multi manager. If you go on file manager, it takes you to more like a file manager sort of thing. And we can open up, let's say, PS3 root. We can go to the USB stick where the multi man package file was. We can even go to the hard drive again. Always be careful here. Don't you know, delete or rename stuff that could cause issues. And if you press like L1 or R1, you'll change the look of the system. And depending on which one you prefer, just keep that one. I prefer this one so r1 and r1 to go backwards and forwards and again from here you can go to file manager i'll cover it in a separate video how to install games from packages from isos ps1 ps2 psp retro arc i'll cover ftp installations i'll cover how to install packages that are larger than four gigabytes i'll cover the, the whole shebang so feel free to check out those videos as usual you know you can Ask us any questions that you have on the Discord group. There's a link in the description. Just feel free to post on the PS3 channel or one of the many other channels. All the resources required are on Discord as well. 
and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.